All right, this is Firearm Farms, and today we're gonna be—we've got some pretty cool stuff for y'all. We're uh, messing with some different flamethrowers that we made, homemade. So first, we've got this one. Uh, we call it a uh, little boy, and it's pretty cool. And uh, let's let's get this started. But you didn't think that's all we had for you, did you? No. Let, let's see if we can get something a little bit bigger. All right, so now we got something a little bit bigger, and let's see what this can do. And you know, we, we are safe. We do have our uh, candy dandy fire extinguisher. Okay. Let's see if we can do this again. And that's pretty cool, but I still think we can get even bigger. Let's try it. All right, now we've got the biggest one. This is the grand supreme of all of our flamethrowers. All right, so uh, we've got an old ping pong table, which you might have saw, or not ping pong, foosball. We never really liked foosball anyway, so uh, let's see what type of damage we can do. Uh-oh. Keep going, keep going for the... That's what I call some flamethrowing. That's some Alright, so we don't think the foosball table will take enough damage, so uh, let's give this one more go. Yeah, there we go. That's what I call some real flamethrowing. All right, so uh, make sure you thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this and uh, subscribe to Firearm Farm. And we've got some more cool stuff that we're going to be doing. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, that's pretty dang cool.